All right, what's going on? It's Bobby Skinner talking Giants doing our first free agent breakdown of the 2022 offseason. Did like 15 of these last year. Probably won't be as many as last year or as big as ones as Kenny Galladay, Adora Jackson, hell, even Kyle Rudolph. Uh, and we're looking at Matt Gano, offensive tackle, who's played with the Falcons. He was at UDFA, um, missed all of 2021 on the pup list. In 2020, he started four games, three of them at tackle, one at guard. Right now, what it looks like, and other moves can be made, but right now, I, I would guess that he's the swing tackle for the New York Giants. Nate Solder's gone. Matt Parrott's coming off of a torn ACL and didn't show much. I mean, you look at Matt Parrott's film versus Ma, uh, you know, Matt Gano's film, they're kind of similar levels. I think Matt Gano might be a little bit better at this moment. Uh, I know Parrott's a little younger. But coming off that torn ACL right now, he looks like to, to be the swing tackle. So we're going to go through his pass reps, his run reps, all that good stuff. First... Make sure to like and subscribe. We're going to try and kill free agency. The draft, we're working hard at. We're putting a lot of stuff on the Talking Football channel. Still, we'll do some stuff on the Talking Giants. But the free agency stuff, we're going to try and uh, do some you know, some good breakdowns. So, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. All right, let's get into it. Let's go through the pass reps. What I think of him overall is he's an athletic player. But he's got some stuff to work on. I know he gets the running back chip on this one. But quick feet. You see the one, two, three, stand square, lands the punch. Now, he's he lunges in his punches, and this is kind of reminiscent a little bit of those first seven games of, of Andrew Thomas. And you'll see how it gets him in trouble later. So ignore the running back chip on this, but like, hey, you know, you see he's got good athleticism, bam, 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 punch, got his hands on, good stuff, good stuff. Quick feet. You know, he, he jumps back inside. He's there. Quick feet. Good rep. Next rep. And again, he's the right tackle. Another good rep. Even though he ends up on his ass. But we're doing a 45 set. So we're trying to go at a 45 degree angle. One, two, three. Pretty good kick slide. Punch, hand, you know, lands, you know, delivers his hands before the uh, def the artillery is able to get his hands on him, and just keep the feet moving. Reload the hands, wash them around the pocket. Good job. Gets tripped up and falls, but like this is this is a good rep. Just feet, bat, 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 punch, land it, wash them around that edge. Good rep, good rep for Macano. Next rep, this one's against Bosa, which he kind of held his own against Bosa. I had some bad reps. So this starts out good. One, two. Now he opens his hips on the third one. It's Joey Bosa, so he's got that speed off the edge. And he's, and he's lined up wide. So you'll see, and we'll, we'll get into it when he starts getting, we'll go through a few reps where he gets beat inside. Bosa beats him to the punch, but good job getting those hands, you know, trying to reload them. But because Bosa beats him to that punch, and he kind of is leaning a little bit, Bosa's able to use that left hand and and pull. And Matt Ryan almost gets killed by the left side. But you see, he's got the athleticism to hang with Bosa, you know. But it's just about being better with that 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 punch timing and also being ready for inside counters. Here, he's going to get an inside spin from both, so he recovers well. Pat, pat, pat. Three steps. Keeps this hip square. Good stuff. Good feet. Now, this is, look. Leaning up over his shoulder pads over his knees. He punches too early. And that's going to leave him a... Uh, uh, Vulnerable to inside moves. Now he does a good job for swinging that left foot back and getting back. He's athletic. Like he's an athletic guy. But you'll see in other reps that he gets beat by that type of stuff. But he is an, he is an athletic guy. And you'll see in the run game stuff. Like he's, he's a pretty athletic player. Here versus the Bucks, JPP. We all know him. 45 set. 1, 2, 3. Punch. 
Yeah, good good time to good time punch, but because those hips are open, he's got the weight kind of moving outside. You see, he can be vulnerable to, and I I need to just start beating around the bush about how he's vulnerable. We just need to get into it after this rep. Here versus Shaq Barrett, wide nine technique. Again, he's got the athleticism to hang with anybody. One, two. Now the hips open early. But we're washing around at 10 yards. You're staying with them athletically. Now you're dealing with a wide nine, so I kind of get it. But ideally, you want to go one, two, and kind of have these hips. Maybe have your, your hips open at this next step like this. But you don't want to be like this, where your ass is facing the sideline. But again, he's got the athleticism. He gets away with it. Now, let's let's go through him getting beat on some inside uh, moves. So he gives that punch. And he's actually got like good technique with this. But he over punches. He's got his weight and his momentum going to the outside. And his hips are open. And that leaves a pass to the quarterback. Because look, look. He's going, he's going outside. JPP is able to use those hands on that punch. You know, that, that's punched a little early to use those against him and move that weight outside. And now he's got a path to the quarterback. So he's got to get a good, better job of keeping an inside proportion versus those defensive fans. Going back versus the Chargers. So, you know, trying to stop that speed. Bam, bam, bam. The punch, leaning forward. Well, now you got no weight to power this foot down. Again, his athleticism shows off. Decent recovery on the athleticism. But overall, a bad rep. Next one. Video's glitching a bit. Again. See? He keeps sliding with that punch. He's got his hips open. And Bosa's just got an easy way to pass to the quarterback, even though he stumbles. And the left guard, the right guard just buries his head. You'll see that. So... Don't open, don't open up your hips right here. Trust your athleticism. Kick slide this. And if he gives that inside move, you push off this right foot, power down the left foot at a 45 degree angle, and you've stopped that inside move. And if he's trying to bend the edge, well, you still got good proportion. Like, he didn't, he didn't need to open up his hips on this and get beat inside. So, again, obviously stuff to work at, but at the end of the day, and then you watch this guy just bury uh, Joey Bosa's head into the ground. So he's obviously got stuff to work on in the pass game. But what I do like is I'd rather have a guy who's a little too punch heavy um, than a guy who doesn't punch at all. Kind of like Matt Pear. You know, and he's athletic. He's probably not as athletic as Matt Pear. Um, but I, but there is some things to work for as a backup where you can play him as a backup. Let's go through the run game now. Here, just your simple run out block. Got to keep the feet moving. Again, he's got the athleticism. He's got NF adequate NFL strength. But watch. The first step is fine. The second step gets you all out of balance. I mean, that second step should be right here. And he's like sprinting to it. So he's got good momentum. Good pop. Like that's good pop. But now your feet aren't moving with it. Until he's able to get into your chest and push you back. Again, not a bad result on this play. But do it more in control. Just quick duck feet. Pat, 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 punch. Keep the feet moving. Because now the feet are stopping. Until he's able to get leverage underneath you. Here, you'll this next play, you'll see good movement on this double team. But it's a false step. Watch the left foot. You want this left foot... Going right here. It's going backwards. 
You want that first step to be the left foot right here. Not pushing off the right foot and putting that left foot backwards. But you do see some like good strength. Like he moves this guy down the line. But if that first step is right there, well, you got your shoulder pad in here and you're moving him up and down. And it, it you know, you, got, you could be hip to hip instead of this space into you. You want to be hip to hip moving this guy down into this linebacker. Here, just a single block right here. Again, you don't, he didn't have a ton of these, so kind of took the only one he had. Good hands inside. It's hard to see the feet, but they are moving. Getting a little skinny. So, again, some sloppy technique, but he's got athleticism. He's got NFL ad adequate NFL strength. Here, let's go through some zone stuff. And this is where he's at his best because he gets to show off his athleticism. Now, this is a bad rep. Instead of watch, watch every let's watch every other offensive lineman on on this on this rep. See how the foot, bam, 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 and see how he's straight up. Open up, open up that foot and get outside this shoulder. Get outside this shoulder and you win this rep. It's that first step, just is like the most important step. If he gets that first step right, he's able to swing his hips around. He's able to swing his hips around. This guy's blocking out here, and you've got a much bigger run. You've got a one-on-one -on -one with Antoine Winfield. He's got the athleticism and strength to hang with it, but you just got to do those type of things. Back versus the Chargers. Good job getting to the second level. Your guy shoots inside. All right, he's back in there. Let's get to the second level, seal it off. Helmet on the right side. Catching a, too much, but overall, good job. If your center, if your left guard, if your center and left guard do a better job, this play goes for a lot more yards because this is blocked really well besides that one player. Here on the back side. I mean, look, this is a hard block to make. He fires out. Fires out under control. Brings the hands. Keep the feet moving. Good block. Again on the back side of outside zone. Good athleticism. Get there. Swing the hips. Good athleticism. Doesn't even need to really touch the guy. Just show off your athleticism. And here on this toss, you're going to see him pull outside again. Like showing, showing off what he can do as an athlete. Bam. Good stuff. So again, don't get too excited. He's going to be brought in to be the backup. He's not being brought back, uh, brought in to be the starter, but he's a guy you can work with who has had four games and, you know, he's done all right. Uh, his guard uh, uh, performance wasn't great, but at tackle, he he did all right. He held his own. Uh, so that, and that's what that's what you look for in a backup. So uh, hopefully we can get a, a real deal starter at right tackle, maybe in the draft. So appreciate you guys. Again, make sure to like, subscribe, all that good stuff. We'll have some more free agent breakdowns on the channel starting starting next week, most likely. So appreciate you guys. See you on the next one. Let's go big blue.